there is a raging battle that goes on in my head every day. And the best way that I can describe it is it's like a really annoying dubstep song. Some mornings I wake up with harmony and other mornings I wake up with Today, we're gonna to talk about some tools that I use to get rid of that voice without the use of drugs, alcohol, or prescription meds. This episode takes place in Miami. Yo, it's Josh Yo. Today, we're in South Beach. I'm here all week. I'm shooting some high-end yachts, houses, parties. It's Art Basel. If you guys don't know what Art Basel is, it's... basically a week long buying and selling art extravaganza. It's a super creative time to be in Miami. Sounds like paradise, right? I'm in the middle of paradise, yet I have this overwhelming voice that's telling me to not do anything, that I'm not enough, that I won't be good enough, that I'm not worthy. If I'm having to deal with this all the time, it seems like every day, then other people have to deal with this too, right? If you guys are artists, you're filmmakers, storytellers, you're actors, you probably deal with this. I don't wanna say this is a self-help episode, but this is is destroying that voice so that you can get back into beast mode and doing the things that you love to do and being creative and just artistically turned on. We gotta lay a foundation. Number one, everyone deals with this. At least everyone that I've ever talked to. So if you feel this in the morning, it's not just you. Number two, successful people deal with this. If successful people deal with this, that means they have figured out a set of tools that they use to just get it out of the way. Right out the gate, the number one most documented tool is gonna be exercise. Even a 20 to 30 minute workout is gonna release massive amounts of endorphins, things like dopamine, serotonin, oxytocin, norepinephrine, norep norepinephrine, norepi, it does something spectacular. So what else is there besides exercise? Routine, successful people have a routine. What does that mean? You have to look at routine like, what is it that you need to have mental clarity, to have peace so that you're ready to start your day. My routine is simple. Three cups of coffee. We are raiding the cart. I normally tinker or build something. We recommend channel locks and socket wrench. Yeah, I don't have either of those. Just look at this thing. Supposed to hold 700 pounds. Let's just see about that. The biggest one is have a clean space. I have so many thoughts that are just clutter around all the time. It's really hard for me to get to work without having an absolutely clean place. Check out who I got to help me. Yeah, this dude. So what is it that you guys need to start your day? Hammer out your routine and you got another one in your arsenal. Another really good one is music. Now it's not just important to listen to good music. We're talking, get the music that makes you wanna jam. Just it, that song that just like. All those songs that make you wanna dance and jump, stuff that you do when people aren't looking, you need to save those and put them on a playlist. The other thing that I like to do is I gotta get out of the house. I have to go out and do something creative. Go explore, go make something with my hands, go photograph something, just get out of my brain. Wake up and we'll take it on today. We'll leave this place, head straight for the Milky Way. I honestly thought Los Angeles had a pretty good street art thing. Winwood. I'm with Des Jones. He's a uh, Swiss artist. He's doing some killer artwork up here. He's got one cool tip for us. I guess when you feel it, go straight up in another direction and leave it behind you. Inspiration is kinetic. When you get inspired, you don't hear anything else. That voice is destroyed the moment you get inspired. And the only way you're gonna get inspired is by going out there and go figuring something out, doing, doing something. Dude, look at that cool ass we all get high sometimes Then we fall down low 
He's been painting this whole wall. He's probably been here like two days, three days? No, one week. He's been here a week. <laughs> Even more, I think uh, nine days, something like that. And I asked him, I was like, so that voice in your head when you wake up in the morning, what does it say? It's stay in bed all day. Then, you know, I feel guilty and I'm, I need to move. So to move on, uh, what I do, like to say to someone, okay, I'm going to do that or I'm going to do that. Yeah. I use the energy of other people to do the stuff. That's yeah. my trick. Because I can be the remedy for you. Good luck, man. Thank you so much. Thank you. That's it. You heard it. Make obligations. Tell people you're going to do something. But yeah, actually do it. You just have to follow your heart. You know, you're trying to do something with positivity, love. Love is the answer. Love is beautiful. Life is beautiful. When you feel like doing something, just do it. We all different, but we all the same. We all have a heart. So use your heart. And now the sun just came out yeah, too. Exactly. <laughs> Light! You, you, Light! This is exactly what I'm talking about. See, put it out there. I wasn't feeling like doing anything creative today. And I literally just bumped into the dude who like got me interested in street art like four years ago. I'm telling you guys, it's so real. Get out there and go do something creative. Say yes to life, go do it. Don't listen to that voice in your head. If you like what I'm throwing at you and you wanna show me a little bit of love, there's a button right there. Let's keep the party going. I'd love for you guys to come with me. This is Josh O saying, stay creative, go make some art. Oh, you.